Hello YouTube, my name is Josh and I want to welcome you to our channel. So Flickstick is all about game streaming and cloud gaming and today we're here to talk about GeForce Now. So Nvidia just released a huge update for the Nvidia Shield that brings over 200 GeForce Now titles to the Shield platform. So that's super exciting, that's a lot of new content to enjoy. So we're going to test it and we're going to show you a little bit of gameplay that was captured on the Shield itself. So these are all new games that were just added. And then after that video, we're gonna tell you what we think. What are our impressions? How does it feel to us? So that's coming up next. So let's talk a little bit about how GeForce Now works with the Shield. So it's just like it does on the PC. There's over 200 supported titles, and if you pick a game, you need to own that game or it needs to be free to play in order for you to stream it through the Shield. So for example, let's say you click on Call of Duty, you're gonna be prompted to log in with your Steam account to confirm your ownership. If you don't own it, you're gonna be prompted to purchase it. And that's pretty fair. So you're not paying anything for the actual GeForce Now server, as long as it's in beta at least. And you do still need to own the games just like you would if you were playing on your own computer. So that process kind of works out the same. The benefit is that with this system, NVIDIA typically is able to release games on the same day that they come out normally on other platforms. So you get really quick access to it and you can stream all of it through the NVIDIA Shield. So that system is actually pretty good and it gives you quick access to really popular things. Now let's talk a little bit about our impressions after playing GeForce Now for about a week. So I want to say right away that this is ultimately something that we do recommend, but there are some opportunities. So we're going to cover both of those things. Let's start with the good stuff. The good side is that it looks amazing to play GeForce Now through the Shield. So the graphic quality is top notch, meaning that the servers are very powerful. They can run most games on Ultra and the stream itself looks amazing. So that's good. Um, two is that the controller latency is very low, which means that when you're playing, it feels like you're playing on a normal console. So you don't feel a lot of lag or things like that. So those are both awesome things. The challenging side and, and you know, the opportunity side is that number one, some games we couldn't get to launch. I'll give you an example. We tried to play Black Ops 3 and when we opened it up, it looks like the game itself is not preloaded on the server. So Steam started trying to download it to the server for us. The game itself is about 50 gigabytes in size and it would get about 60% of the way loaded and then the server would time out because we hadn't actually played the game yet. 
and we tried to load it several times, you know, waited 20, 30 minutes and it's still timed out at the same point. So it looks like the service is basically programmed that if you haven't actually gotten into your game within a certain time period, it's gonna lock you out. And it's not because they're being mean, it's because there's a lot of people trying to use the service and they don't have room for idle players that are not actually playing. So for some games like Black Ops, that means the game can't be used right now. Now that's an easy fix and I'm sure they'll get to it, but that's something to be aware of. The second thing is that we did occasionally run into a queue where we had to wait a little bit before the game would launch. Now we're not talking vortex queues, you know, where you have a 30 minute queue every single time you play any game. This was something that we ran into, I think twice in the whole week that we played and the wait time was about 10 minutes. So that just tells us that at that moment, GeForce Now is under a heavy, heavy load and they had to kind of spread out and make people wait. So that doesn't seem to be common, but it is a possibility. So that's something to consider. Um, outside of that, I would say just looking at the interface on the shield, there doesn't seem to be a clear, easy way to look at the entire 200 plus game list of titles that are supported through GeForce Now. So the way that it's set up currently is that when you open it up and you go into the NVIDIA Games app, the GeForce Now titles are mixed in with other content. So they're mixed in with my game stream content and Android content. So they're it's basically broken down by category like shooting games, racing games, etc., new titles. And so you can get to the most popular things very easily, but if you're looking for something that's not in one of those, you know, top popularity lists for the category, it can be a little bit hard to find it. So I'd like to see them add an option to just look at the entire list of supported GeForce Now titles and that's just feedback for them. I think that, you know, don't replace what's there now because it is nice to have categories that are broken down. It's nice to see what's new and what's popular. Those are things that are important, but I would like to have an option to look at the entire list if I wanted to. So that's an opportunity. Um, outside of that, that's really it. Everything else about the experience was really nice and it's something that I really recommend. It's an amazing value because to, if you want to do this, if you want to play just like we showed you in the video, all you have to do is purchase a shield or be a shield owner. And as soon as you open up the NVIDIA app, you're basically in the, the beta for GeForce Now right away. You get instant access. It's really hard to beat that. There's no monthly fee during the beta. So it's something to consider. We highly recommend picking one up if you're a cloud gamer. Um, the Shield TV also supports a lot of other cloud services. So you can use Parsec with it, Liquid Sky, Vortex, Moonlight. There's a lot of other things that it supports. So you're not limited to just GeForce Now or just Game Stream if you have something else that you prefer. And it works really well with those other services too. We plan other videos in the future that kind of touch on those more specifically. But for now, it is a recommend. We do really like it and it's a great value. And that's really it for this video. So if you're not already subscribed to Flickstick, you might consider doing so. We release a lot of content that's centered around cloud gaming and game streaming and we're your destination for everything about those technologies. And until next time, you guys have a good one.